Hi, my name is Daniel Salise with Initial Attack Tools. We're going to be talking about how to install the workhorse onto your wildland pack. A good rule of thumb is we like to measure it with your pec muscle, but at the same time, uh, it's going to depend on your body type. So this, uh, this procedure is going to take a little bit of time, so we suggest you doing it uh, before the start of your shift. The first thing we're going to do is attach it to your wildland pack placing the workhorse on top and attaching your neural nets so these are going to be screwed hand tight at your preferred location and you're secured and ready to go. This is gonna be your saddle where you rest your inch and a half hose. Then you're gonna connect your clamp on top of it, sliding your pin and cam into the locking position. And once the hose is charged, it'll self lock. So your first step is you're gonna place it into the workhorse, locking it using the cam about arm's length distance so you have full control over your nozzle. Ready for water? And now you're ready to go start your progressive hose lid. Now we're going to discuss how to discharge your inch and a half hose from the workhorse and start your changeover. So what we're going to want to do is discharge the water. You're going to want to push the hose towards your body unlocking your cam and starting your changeover. Grabbing your new stick, an inch and a half hose. And starting your procedure again. Placing the hose in the saddle, locking the cam. Ready for water? and getting ready to progress. For this emergency procedure, what we're gonna do is continue fighting fire, and with the hand closest to the workhorse, we're gonna unlock the cam and spin it till dismount. Once you take off your wildland pack with your hose and take off your wildland pack and grab your fire shelter, you're going to leave the workhorse onto the inch and a half line spraying water for added protection. <laughs> 